Hello, hello, and welcome, my Taurus Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Welcome to your What Do I Need read for this new moon and Capricorn to full moon next in Leo, January 2021. Happy New Year. If you haven't heard it from me yet, and may it truly be a happy new year for every single one of us incarnate. I am your reader, Mark Angela Lyons, now for short, professional, witch, professional, intuitive, president of Join the Circle Productions, the Archangel of Lions, Mark Angela Lyons, but you can call me now. Hi. Hey. Hey, my bulls. How y'all doing? How you doing, my Taurians? Uh, my fellow Earth sign Virgo that I am, I have great uh, support as an urge to support as well as love and respect my Earth sign brothers and sisters. We do the hard work, man. We are always fucking working, aren't we? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's get up in this gig uh we are doing a what do i need read asking the pantheons of the divine to which i work uh what you need for a specific time period it's not a timeless read this is a timed read we are looking at the waxing moon in january uh, the new moon in Capricorn at midnight on the 13th. That's interesting to me. Uh, very rarely do we get planetary things like that at midnight. It's really rare. Uh, uh, to, again, the waxing moon to the full moon in Leo, 2.16 p.m. on the 28th, right? So what it is you need to build, to grow, to evolve, to wax, right? Like the waxing moon as it goes up. Uh, new to full. We're doing a seven card draw, which just means one card from seven different systems, uh, showing you what you need, different levels of things. Uh, very simple. I love these. They're like spiritual counseling in under 30 minutes. I dig it. So the standard YouTube rules apply, right? Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, right? Uh, check your other signs because, you know, your sun sign is going to get maybe not just different information, about the same situation that your moon sign might, but maybe a completely different situation you need to, you know, be aware of uh, for your well-being, the well-being of all. Cool. I guess that's about it. All the decks that I read are always in the bottom of the description box, as well as other cool links, because I am a spiritual teacher, first and foremost, though I've been reading tarot longer. I've been reading tarot since I'm 12. I'll be, well, it'll be next year. This year. Oh, well, yeah, this year, some point in the summer. Uh, it will be 40 years that I've been reading tarot. That terrifying it is for me. So let's get up in this gig. Take a nice deep breath. Here we go, my beloveds. Breathe. As I tune myself uh, to the uh, angels of Earth and the sign of Taurus using the Healing with the Angels Oracle by Doreen Virtue, please. My beloved angels, my my angels and archangels of earth, the sign of Taurus, the uh, the Aerialites, the Uriolites, the Aurealites, please one card in clarity for the Taurus Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. What is the angel they most need to work with? The healing angel. Pray, meditate, whatever, research. They'll find their way to that as they need. Oh, for this, they want that one, they get that one, and I understand why. Okay, uh, this uh, new moon in Capricorn to full moon next in uh, in Leo, they do that so that they show me the timeline, right? It's like literally a clairvoyant timeline. You need to work with the healing angel of balance, which means something's out of balance. This could be within you and within another person that you're dealing with the situation. But balance and homeostasis is part of healing and part of health. So what would the healing angel of balance do? Now, that's a contemplative question you can spend some time on in, in, in meditation and deeper thought, right? Uh, so obviously something's out of balance, but you know, that's the thing about a living in a dualistic world. As soon as you achieve balance, there's imbalance, right? It's a tricky, tricky gnosis, tricky knowing. <laughs> I use that joke with my mom. She just gave me the deepest side eye. She'd never given me in my entire life over the holiday. Um, so there's, you need to be aware of that the angel of balance is there like saying, hi, what do you need? How can I help you? But the call always has to come from us. And it could be something as simple as, oh, dear gods, help me, right? Even though you're saying gods would be an angel, right? That, that, that the angel would hear that and help bring balance. Uh, that is the uh, first of four oracles of our seven card draw. We're going to do our two tarot next. Daughters of the Moon Tarot, for which you need to be aware of inside of yourself. Heart, third, third eye crown, if you want chakras to focus in on. And then the mythic tarot for what you need to be aware of in the outside world. Yun and then Yang. The Yang, and yeah, we'll talk about it. It's the lower three chakras root. Sacrum solar plexus, but let's uh, let's tune here. Mm. My goddesses of earth and the sign of Taurus, please. I need one card in clarity for the Taurus collective sun, moon, rising, 
Venus signs, what do they need to be aware of inside of themselves? Some extra attention, maybe something that needs balance within them. This new moon in Capricorn to full moon next in Leo, January 2021. The strength card, I don't know, that feels pretty strong, right? That feels like the courage, the tenacity, the bravery, right? Courage, the heart. So there is probably something more emotional here in terms of the heart chakra, right? Because if we're looking heart, throat, third eye crown, you know, it's always the lion, right? There's always a lion here. So think of being lion hearted, right? Not and people will say it's the Leo card. I understand why there's a lion on it, but this might be about your own emotional fortitude. Now it's major arcana. This is not just a passing thing. This is something that I could see somebody waxing, building inside of them, but this isn't, you know, pick up the coffee table and throw it across the room kind of strength. Never was. This is about emotional endurance. This is about the courage and the bravery that maybe something needs to be brought into balance and it's going to take a little bit of the hero's journey or a lot of bit of the hero's journey. Even for a waxing moon, right? We can take a, a lot can happen in 14 days. What's, what's going on on the outside? Breathe. Mythic Tarot, please, my gods of Earth and the sign of Taurus. One card in clarity for this Taurus Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. What is it they need to be aware of outside of themselves? Maybe how they're appearing, some situation that's connected to all of this. This full moon in Capricorn to new moon next in Gen, uh, in, in Leo, full moon to full moon next in Leo, boy, uh, January. 2021, yeah, because it's the Page of Pentacles. There's a new offer coming in. Now, it's a message of a new offer, right? It's not the Ace of Pentacles. It's the Page of Pentacles. Pages, to me, have Earth sign qualities, but need not necessarily be a specific Earth sign, right? Uh, the court cards are more... I don't really consider this a court card. I mean, I do. Um, but Knights, Kings, Queens, that's where you see the Zodiac. And I learned that from this deck. I learned that from Mythic Tarot. Uh, oh, God, her name just went out of my, my head. Mythic Tarot, Juliet Sharman Burke. It's nice to have everything right there, <laughs> right? So there is a new opportunity coming in, right? And maybe this is an opportunity for physical balance. This could be financial. It very easily could be. And I'm feeling the next deck, the Oracle that we use next, is going to really clarify this. So let's just take that page of Pentacles and, and say, okay, an offer is coming in. Maybe you're giving it, maybe you're taking it, and maybe it's in balance. In the balance, not in balance. Uh, so let's go to the Crystal Oracle by Tony Carmine Salerno. I love this deck. I'm so pleasantly surprised by how deep this thing is. So I dedicated this to Archangel Ariel, my personal Archangel, the Arch one of the Archangels of Earth. There's the Arielites, the Uriolites, and the Aurelites, right? Uh, uh, so let's see what is your crystal oracle message whether it's what's written in the book because i got to do the bookie book i just got it right uh i just got it a couple of weeks a month ago i got it a month ago um uh but maybe it's just the stone and if you have because you're an earth sign your own relationship with whatever the stone is you might already have it though there's some of them in here that i've never heard of before and i've been in the industry i used to work in crystal stores can't you tell breathe Oh, there. Hi, Archangel Ariel. You're always with me. <laughs> You're always in me. Please, we have one card in clarity for uh, the Taurus Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. On what is the Crystal Oracle card? Definition in the book, the stone itself. What they know, any part of that, they'll figure that out. They're, they're Taurians. They'll figure it out. So what is it that they need from you? This uh, new moon in Capricorn to full moon next in Leo, January 2021. I can't believe it. Smoky quartz. It's like a Taurus stone. Smoky quartz? Not hard to find either. Just make sure you're getting actual smoky quartz, not irradiated citrine. See, I used to be in the business, right? They take citrine and they expose it to radiation and it makes it look smoky. I didn't come up with that. I wouldn't do that. I'm like, leave that. Just leave the stones alone. <laughs> Leave the stones alone. Like I ever do merch, we'll make a t-shirt. Leave the stones alone. And people will think it's the rolling stones. <coughs> so smoky quartz. <coughs> Very Taurus. Pardon me. I had a nice sip of coffee before I did that. And I think the last little drop went down. Uh, very grounding, very root chakra. And like I said, this could very much have to do uh, with not just physical health and balance, but maybe, maybe even... Uh, financial, let's see. I don't think I've read this one before. Oh, smoky quartz, emotional blockage, 
negative thoughts release grounding protection. So you take what resonates on that, right? So again, emotional blockage, negative thoughts, release grounding and protection. Before I even read this, of course, negative thoughts, because that's when we're not in our bodies. We're all up in here. And I'm a Virgo, I can think. <laughs> I can overthink, right? That's overthinking. I learned this from Matt Cause. It's a sign that your heart's not open. Breathe, right? It's okay that that's happening, but the mind is taking you away, right? Ground yourself, smoky quartz. So here's what it says. This beautiful smoky quartz crystal has appeared in your reading today to help you release and express the many emotions that you have kept suppressed for quite some time. Uh, if you have any Aries placement, which came out before this one, you might want to check that out because there was a lot of sh uh, shadow work going on in that one. This is a little similar. Uh, there is an emotional cause to all physical symptoms. So know that by acknowledging uh, so know that by acknowledging and expressing how you feel, you allow healing to occur. Now that would bring you into physical emotional balance, right? The, the angel card here. Do not be afraid to cry for your tears will wash away your sadness and restore your emotional, mental, and physical well-being. In other words, bringing you into holistic balance, physical, emotional, mental, spiritual. That's the holistic model of, of balance, holistic health. It's not all about arnica cream and rescue remedy people. Uh, there is a jewel to be found in every teardrop. That's beautiful. It's painful, but beautiful, right? Trust, this card signifies a healing is occurring right now. Or maybe this new moon. <laughs> <Two full moons. laughs> wow. Okay. All right. So we are, I mean, I'm going to put this all together at the end, as I always do, all the puzzle pieces once they're on the table. Um, but again, this might be somebody that you're dealing with, right? We do have this page of pentacles. It feels like a healing opportunity but the emotional, and by the way, even, even <laughs> the physical symptoms could be financial, right? The, the emotional cause making some physical effects in your finances, right? Breathe. The next oracle, the third, hitting the table, the lover's oracle, uh, again, by Tony Carmine Salerno. Wait, right? We got two of his decks in a row. Pantheons of Love. Now, this may be about romance. It is the lover's uh, oracle, but they wanted me to put it in, so I'm keeping it in. Breathe. Mm. Oh, my Pantheons of Love, please. There you are. One card in clarity for the Taurus Collective. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. What is their lover's oracle message for this new moon in Capricorn? This Taurus Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign, the, this new moon in Capricorn to full moon in Leo, January 2021. <laughs> Only time will tell. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Only time will tell. Only time will tell. I mean, are you kidding me? Only time will tell. See, that's why you're glad you got an Earth placement sign, particularly Taurus, which is, Taurians, I'm not going to say that they're, that, that, they're good at waiting, but I'm saying that they're fixed earth so they can really hold to their values, right? Like to bring themselves into balance, to be really, really grounded, right? So that they can say, hey man, everything in its own timing. Yes, your emotions might be freaking out, but bringing that into balance because there's a new opportunity coming in. And again, you've got the strength, right? You see how the puzzle pieces are hitting the table? Only time will tell. So it's not even so much saying be patient. As that's the message, it's like, only time will tell. You're not supposed to know how this one plays itself out completely. Now, this will apply to, it feels like, one particular circumstance in your life. Maybe not your whole life. Although, what we've been through in the past year, it might be, right? Only time will tell. Only time will tell. So, a bit of uncertainty there. But if that uncertainty can be worked with a smoky quartz, right, to kind of give that expression, it's okay. I've been telling people left, right, and center in videos and conversations, readings, friends, even family members. It's not a sin to be uncertain, particularly after the year we just went through, right? Everything's uncertain for everybody. And those who pretend, those who think they know what it's going to be, how right could they be? Maybe they are, maybe they're not. Even that's uncertain. So beware of the stories we tell ourselves when that brain, when that mind, that limbic brain starts coming up with scenarios and stories. Read Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. <laughs> it goes away in 2000. Like the whole book is about practice. But, oh, I love him so much. I'm afraid to meet him though, because I want to pinch his cheeks and I don't want to be hauled off by security for an Eckhart Tolle infraction, you know? Okay, take a nice deep breath. <sighs> My beautiful.
beautiful Tauruses. <laughs> please, uh, the higher selves of all involved, please speak ye through the whispers of love, Oracle, the higher selves of all involved, fifth dimension and above, eighth chakra and above for my beloved Taurus, collective sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. What's the piece of information, inspiration, or insight they must need from their higher selves, fifth dimension and above, eighth chakra and above this uh, new moon in Capricorn to full moon next uh, in Leo, January 2021. <clears throat> Ask for help. Yeah, earth signs we can. We can. I mean, we exhaust every other probability or possibility that we get before we do. Uh, but ask for help. What is it you really need help with? Be willing to allow yourself the support you need. And they're just, they just flashed this card into my mind that an opportunity is coming. Um, and this might be, be an opportunity to ask for help. And it is something physical. Now look, pride is one of the, dead, uh, the deadly sins, seven deadly sins, uh, the shadow passions, hubris, pride. Um, I mean, it's a tricky one. When, when something inside of you is asking for help, maybe it's that child of your heart, your innocence, you're freaking out, right? Yes, ask for help of the divine first. Start there. Go vertical. But then if someone comes horizontal, right, it's that thing of the person who's, you know, there's a flood and they're sitting on top of their house and, you know, they pray to God for help and, you know, a boat comes by and they're like, no, I'm waiting for God to intervene. A helicopter goes, no, I'm fine. I'm wait. You know, it's like that is God in action. That is the divine in action, right? I didn't make up that story. That is a, I guess that's a, 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 I don't know what that's called. <laughs> Not an urban legend. It's it's a truism, right? Uh, you can pray, uh, pray all, all you need to, but you also got to rub ashore. I know that came from Dr. Phil. <laughs> that I remember. Okay, whatever. Don't ask me where my keys are, but I can remember Dr. Phil quotes. The fig. Right, a lot of TV in the 90s. What can I tell you? <laughs> in the new millennium. Last card down and we'll put this all together. The healing mantra deck. Now look, there's a lot of healing going on here. Um, granted, we start with the healing with the Angel's Oracle, but I find Matt Pond's work to be exceedingly helpful and very accessible. Uh, he's great. I love him. Obviously, I promote him a lot, and I don't know him, right, except through his work. You don't know me. So take a nice deep breath, and let's ask the Ascended Masters General Assembly, what is uh, the healing mantra that you need? <clears throat> Breathe. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> Ascended Masters General Assembly is all y'all, essentially. Uh, please, one card in clarity. What is the perfect healing mantra for my beloved Taurus Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs? This new moon in Capricorn to full moon next in Leo, uh, January 2021, considering they need to call upon the Angel of Balance. They need to recognize and acknowledge their own interior strength, their own emotional fortitude, right? To, they've lived through so much. They have so much wisdom inside of them they may not even be aware of. And they need to be aware of this Page of Pentacles offer coming in. And they need to kind of look at that smoky quartz thing about, you know, the mind and the emotions and really being grounded and protected and feeling safe within their own skin because they need to know that only time will tell with whatever it is that they're going through, that they're just not supposed to know how this plays itself out. It's not really great if Luke Skywalker knew Darth Vader was his dad in the first movie. Oops, I hope I didn't spoil that for anybody. That movie came out when I was a child. You should know that by now, right? Uh, uh, and and that they need to ask for their own higher selves, saying ask for help, even if of their own higher selves, may they ask for help. So what is their perfect healing mantra, please, for this new moon in Capricorn to full moon next in Leo, January 2021? Discovering happiness. Rock. Rock on. <laughs> rock your earth sign. Rock my Amadeus. I know it's rock me Amadeus. <laughs> I used to know that song by heart. Discovering happiness from the bookie book uh, of Matt Kahn's Healing Mantra deck. I allow myself to be content exactly as I am. I allow myself to be content exactly as I am. I do this one with Wim Hof breathing and yoga and all that stuff. And it really works. I mean, it's, it's, it's not instant depending on where you are. Let me read it. Uh, I allow myself to be content exactly as I am. When happiness is discovered, you are inspired, excited, and passionate about the gift of being alive. Rock on. There is a willingness to open your heart, strength card, uh, uh, to the mystery of each moment, whether you're getting what you want or witnessing unexpected outcomes. You see, that's what I think that only time will tell. There's an unexpected outcome here. Uh, the discovery of happiness frees you from needing life to bring you more of this or less of that. 
it's really being in the present moment. I'm telling you, Eckhart Tolle, they're flashing his face. Power of Now, great book. You can probably get it on YouTube, audio, even free. Uh, the true joy of being yourself has dawned. The true joy of being yourself has dawned. Uh, this mantra is ideal for facing disappointment, developing self-approval, and feeling fulfilled. That's pretty kick-ass. My balls, let me put it together for you. And I love doing this. This is my favorite part of the What Do I Need reads. I shuffle them and I put it in a prayer of blessing. May the Taurus Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs be blessed with all that they need. This new moon in Capricorn to full moon, X in Leo, January 2021, that they may discover their happiness, understanding that they can allow, that they need to allow themselves to be content exactly as they are, because they need to know only time will tell about this opportunity that is coming to them, a physical opportunity that they may need to ask for help or have asked for help, or they will ask for help, and then that comes in uh, as we're Working with the angel of healing balance as if they don't help enough people now they need to ask for help in order to bring that into balance working with smoky quartz to help protect their energy field to help them be in a safe space to cry if they need to cry to rage if they need to rage without burning down the house or sending that text message <laughs> discovering and embracing and being aware of the magnificent strength of their own love of their own heart for their well-being, for the well-being of everyone around them, and for the well-being of all sentient life on planet Earth. So would it be. And so it is. What a lovely reading. I love doing the waxing moon reads. They're so lovely, usually. Uh, so, um, look, thank you so much for watching. Seriously, my Taurus Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sun, and I am done asking people to please like, subscribe. It's like, if you want more, subscribe. If you like, you got something here, like it. You want to comment. I read the comments and I reply when I can, when I'm inspired to. So I really do appreciate it. Um, thank you so much for watching. We're truly wishing you the very best and the very blessed of this waxing moon Capricorn to Leo January 2020, 2021. My darlings, I'll learn how to speak by the next video. I'm better for Gemini, huh? Hey, Farewell and blessed, blessed be.